Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you a neat little tool for creating simple web pages. This tool is called card.co. It's card with two R's.co. And it's a really easy way to make a simple web page that you might want to use for a digital portfolio or something like that. Let's take a look at how it works. So I'm signed into my account. This is my dashboard. You can have three sites for free in your account. Let's go ahead and create a new site. And there are all kinds of templates that you can use here. Let's say I want to use a simple landing page or perhaps a portfolio page. Let's use this portfolio page here. And I'm going to use this little template right here. I like this one. Let's hit select. And now let's go ahead and edit the page. And all you have to do is click on the element that you want to edit. So let's click on this one. And let's upload an image to use here as our header. And I have an image on my desktop that I want to use. So let's grab that one. There's my October sunset in Maine. We'll add that. And I'm going to adjust how it's displayed. I'm going to adjust the cropping there and move it down a little bit. And there it is. Let's hit accept. And now it's right there in my header. That was pretty easy. And if I wanted to adjust it and add something else, I just click on it again and add a different picture in its place. You'll see over here, I have some appearances, so I can adjust that a little bit if I want to. I can adjust the height. Let's make it bigger or smaller. The default position is to center it. I can change that if I want. And we can have some margins there. And we can see here, it's going to automatically adjust for mobile screens. And we can go over here, perhaps add a little animation to it if I want to, or change any of my other settings in here. So let's go back here now, click done on that element. And I want to change the name. I don't want it to be John Anderton. I want it to be my name. So let's just write in my name. And there it is. That was easy. Now I can go over here. And again, I have my appearances. And so I can change those options. Let's put it back to the title and change the color. Changing the color is just a simple matter of well, picking the color you want over here. And now I've changed that. And I can change the font style. We want to do homemade apple. There it is. And we'll change the style and size using those tools. Want to make it a little thicker well, or a little lighter. We can adjust that as well. Letter spacing, margins, and all those fun settings that you would automatically expect. So let's click auto and done on that. Now I'm going to put in a little description here and just say, I like to take pictures of things and click done on that one. Now we can change this little box and say some labels will be samples of my work. And again, done. And there we go. And if I want to edit that, well, just go back in here and change that appearance. And maybe I'll make it a little bit wider so that that box fits accordingly. And now we go down here. Let's add another picture. So I'm going to edit this one. Let's upload that picture. And I have a picture on my desktop that I want to use. Let's go ahead and add that one in. It's right in here. And again, you can select the area of the picture I want to include. So accept. And put in the caption. again click done now I can fill in all these things here or I could just delete the ones I'm not going to use so I'm just going to delete those for now you can always go back and add them in later you'll see there's just a simple add button there let's go here I'm gonna upload another picture and I'll use this picture of myself 
There it is. And I'm going to include the entire picture this time. So let's click and drag like that and accept that one. And then fill in this information. I like to take pictures of things. I'm not good at it, but I like to do it. Sometimes I take pictures while skiing. Sometimes I make videos for my YouTube channel. And now let's click done. And we're done. Now, we'll see down here that there's a contact button. I can edit that just by clicking on it again and editing any of that information right within it. I could even just delete it if I want to get rid of it altogether. Click done and delete, and it's gone. And put in here my social media, and then go in and edit the information associated with each one of those icons, or delete the icons that I'm not going to use. I'm not going to use the Unsplash one, nor am I going to use the Facebook one. So I'm going to leave it just like this and click done. So now I'm happy with my very simple site here. Let's click the save button. And it's going to publish to a card.co URL. So let's pick one here. I'll put in my name. And that's available. Sorry if you are Richard Byrne who wants to use card.co. I beat you to it. Let's hit publish. And now my site will be live for me to share with whoever I want to share it with. Let's go ahead and view that site that I've just made. And so that's all there is to it. So that's card.co. A nice little tool for creating simple standalone web pages that you might want to use as a portfolio or simple contact information page. As always, for more things like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.